I know, I know, please put down your torches and pitchforks. I'm going to say something positive about TikTok. Unpopular opinion, but please hear me out. When it comes to TikTok, there's usually a collection of complaints that are levied against it. One of it's spyware for the Chinese government. Okay, I don't know if it's true or not, but assuming that it is true, how is that different from other social media apps? I mean, we know for years that uh, like companies like Meta or Twitter or Google, they, they always like, collect your data and... Uh, and that and a lot of them do work with the government in order to you know get them access to just in case they uh, I don't know they need it or want it I don't know I'm 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 not really uh, up, up to all the spy lingo but I mean again it's nothing new is it the only difference is TikTok is that but for China. China. So all these social media apps, a lot of them are basically spyware for the US. But because TikTok is spyware for China, oh, that's bad, that's bad, that is. American spying? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. China spying? No, 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 no. Which, to be honest, I don't really get. Like, I mean, what is the CCP going to do about it if you're in your own country? Like, what, what are they going to do to you? And to me, as a British person, like, why should I care whether the US or China know that I like cat videos or memes? Practically the same to me. I know I'm not going to become a show for the CCP. I mean, China has done, like, awful, awful things, like, from the Tiananmen Square massacre to the treatment of the Uyghur people and many other ethnic minorities within the country. And what about the short attention span that people send that TikTok is, uh, like, inflicting upon us, side like inflict upon our youth and making them, I don't know, like paying less attention. Well, children have a shorter attention span anyway. That's just you know, part of growing up. Maybe exacerbating, but it's not creating anything. It's just exploiting something that's already there, which I'm not going to defend. That's just capitalism. Again, that is something that every other social media company does. But TikTok is danger to kids. It's making them do all sorts of silly and dangerous stuff. Well, yes, it is. Unfortunately, that content is something that kids engage with, and the engagement is something that boosts that in the algorithm, that therefore introduces that to more and more people. That is also an unfortunate side effect. Again, I'm not going to defend TikTok for that. That is something they do need to sort out and to stop happening in the future. But at the same time, that is not something unique to TikTok. Like, how many times has, like, Facebook, like, recommended some really, like, deplorable, deplorable stuff? Or even Twitter, especially recently, like, putting up all sorts of hateful bile and that. Or YouTube with the whole Elsagate stuff. Let's not pretend that TikTok is unique in that respect, because it's not. A lot of the stuff that appeals to kids on TikTok is just mush, it's just slop, it's just bright colours, loud sounds, blah, 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 like multiple things happening on the screen and it's like, it, it is bad, it is bad. Easily digestible content, you know, like fast food. In a podcast episode I did with Jack Barry and Leon Grimes, the topic of TikTok came up. Well, we had different perspectives on this. Uh, I remember mentioning that I'm starting to think that the new technologies aren't the problem, like the common factor is us. We tend to have a habit of dumping all of these problems and all these issues onto one thing and say, you're the problem, and if we excise that from society, all our problems will be fine and uh, we'll be happy and better for it. And I stand by what I say, that um, as a society, we should take more responsibility on what our kids see. Like, children are the most vulnerable against exploitation and uh, I mean counting advertising mon monetary exploitation in that as well and that is generally something we can do by legislation and laws which unfortunately is decided by people like this so if I have a TikTok app on my phone and my phone is on my home Wi-Fi network does TikTok access that network it will have to to access the network, to get connections to the internet, if, if that's the question. So yeah, it comes to think of it, we we really are doomed, aren't we? Okay, so why am I ragging on TikTok when I say in the title I'm going to try to defend it? Well, let's look at the other social media sites. Facebook, a bit of a graveyard and a peach dish for conspiracy theories. Twitter's on the death rattle with the recent Touch Grass update. Threads is a bit early to say, but it seems to be the less bad version of Twitter. Instagram is just a ball of absolute misery with people trying to put on a happy face. I don't know about any of you guys, but I also feel that Instagram is a bit miserable sometimes like to go on like you go through scrolling and you see people like enjoying themselves and yeah I know enjoying yourselves so oh, how dare people do it no 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 more power to them it's just more like you're comparing 
your lives, your average to other people's highs. Like people are going to post their the high points, they're not going to post their, their, their low points. And uh, you see these people enjoying themselves, like the their the best moments. And you can't help but think to yourself that yeah, yeah, my my life sucks compared to that. Like. I know that's not the case. I have the self-awareness to know that isn't the case, but my reptile brain can't wrap its head around that. So yeah, for, for me, I just find it a bit miserable because even though it does have the, um, the the potential like for people to show off their artwork, let's say uh, photographers or illustrators, it's kind of eclipsed by um, just the, the more social aspects of it. Like people posting things like, oh, I met my friends today. Oh, I'm with this group of people today. Oh, I went here today. And projection on my part, I, I am aware. But uh, I don't know, do, do any of you feel this way? It's be, be interesting to see. But that's why I wanted to look at TikTok. A lot of the other, other apps, let's say Facebook, Twitter, I don't think have that much of a, an artistic expression. I think uh, Instagram does have that potential, even though it does have some of the negative elements as well. But then again, I think the same with TikTok, though. I think that there is genuine means of artistic expression that could be done on TikTok, that as opposed to Vine, which had the limit of seven seconds, you have a greater time limit to, to play with. You can make all these different videos and uh, the app itself has uh, an in-app video editor. Yeah, it's it's crude compared to other professional video editors, but let's not forget the most of the people that are going to be using TikTok are kids. And this is probably the first interaction or the first the first experience with video editing that these kids are going to have. Like, so it doesn't need to be Premiere Pro or Final Cut or anything, just rudimentary, cut things together, splice them together, bang, one clip leads to another. And that's great. Like. Okay, many, many kids may not use that, but those who do, and they feel that they like, want to experiment with it and, you know, not try out their artistic side, I think that's great. I think that's absolutely great. It's not really going to be your best stuff, but no one's like, expecting it to be. Um, but it's, it's at that point you learn. You learn and you start to uh, like learn the basics of video recording and video editing. It, yeah, even if it's just the basics. And you get people that make actually pretty good stuff on TikTok. Like they use the, the medium as a fun and expressive tool. And I, yeah, I gotta commend them for that. I think those are gonna be the next, uh, the next generation of filmmakers. In 40 years time, we're gonna see an interview with this brand new like filmmaker, like fresh out the gate and saying that their first experience with filmmaking was from TikTok. That is going to make me feel old, but at the same time, I can't, I can't hate it. I can't hate it. In conclusion, TikTok as a company, bad, but there are quite a few TikTokers on there that have a lot of potential and I wish them nothing but the best. Really want to see what happens with this. So, uh, yeah, uh, that's, that's what I have to think is probably a hot take, but hey, that, that's, that's my opinion. And I guess you have your own if you do. Let me know, tell me where I'm wrong, and uh, yeah, I'll see you later.